Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please click that subscribe button down below. And as always, remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. Yesterday I was watching the live stream of the Harley Davidson Dealer Show, where they had announced uh, the new 2019 models, uh, which basically was, uh, you know, the soft tails pretty much stayed the same. Uh, they introduced the FXDR, which looks pretty awesome. It's like a 630-pound bike that uh, is pumping out, you know, 1,800 cc's with the 114. So uh, that's a pretty cool bike. Uh, I was really interested in seeing what they did with the street glide and just basically the tour platform in general. And I wasn't really expecting a whole lot of changes, maybe just some new colors and, and stuff like that. So uh, when they came out and kind of right off the bat uh, with the touring bikes, uh, really showcase this new Boom Audio GTS head unit. The first thing you'll notice about the new Boombox GTS is the speed. Startup time is cut in half compared to the previous Boombox system. You can swipe and pinch to zoom in and out to find your location on the map. You have instant access to all of your tunes. The all new Boombox GTS. The next level of Harley Davidson infotainment is at your command. Uh, it was kind of like a bittersweet moment for me because the system looks awesome and I can actually say it is awesome. I, I ended up uh, going to check it out uh, late last night at the uh, Harley Davidson of Scottsdale. But when I bought this Heritage, I was kind of back and forth. I really liked the 2018 Street Glide Special and uh, the only thing that really kind of held me back from it was I felt like it was like severely lacking the tech, which is kind of like part of the whole idea of going up to, you know, the street glides or road glides, is that you get the stereo and all that kind of stuff, but uh, I don't know, I just kind of thought that it wasn't uh, enough to, to make the jump uh, cost-wise, so I really went with this heritage because I just thought the touring bikes weren't going to get touched for a couple more years, so here I am, like, on my 2018 that I, I again, I love this bike. It's, it's an awesome uh, motorcycle for me. But I wish I waited a couple more months. Damn you, Harley! So, now I see these uh, 2018s, and especially the Street Glide Special, which has the 114 in it, which is uh, pretty awesome. And then it has this new audio system, which... Uh, again, I went up to the dealership uh, last night. Harley Davidson of Scottsdale put out an Instagram yesterday that said that uh, Bill Davidson will be here. Uh, Ray Drea, who is the VP of Design for Harley, and Heather Malenshank, which I know I just butchered. Sorry, Heather, if you ever see this. Uh, who is the VP of Marketing was uh, also supposed to be there. It was like from 6.30 to 8.30. Now, I didn't see any of them there. Uh, I also heard that there was one of the Harley interns that was kind of floating around. I didn't see him there either. I just kind of shot the shit with uh, my salesman, Scott Craig, who is awesome. If you guys are in the Scottsdale area and you're looking for a Harley, uh, Scott is an awesome dude. Uh, check him out. I just highly recommend him. Not sponsored, just uh, kind of a recommendation. So I saw that they posted that they were having this event and that they also had the uh, 2018s in stock so I thought I would just take a ride up there and go and check them out and kind of see what was going on. I saw the 2019 Street Glide Road Glide. Uh, they had a Road King there. Um, the the big changes now for the 2018 and the touring bikes is that they've added this Boom Audio GTS and what that does and why that is significant more than just saying like oh it's a nice screen so be it um, it, it, it adds like Bluetooth capability to integrate with your headset. The snappiness of the screen is just like really incredible. Uh, I, I was really surprised to see how quick and responsive it is. I mean, it's on par with some of the better uh, infotainment systems that you see for the uh, cars that are out there uh, these days. So uh, it wasn't just like an incremental change to their existing infotainment boom audio system. It's, it's really a revolutionary uh, step in that realm. They have some really cool trip things on there that uh, really kind of bring it up into competing with some of the, what I would call like the forum bikes. Uh, you know, just a lot of really good trip data. 
information from when your last service was, which is pretty cool. Um, there's also kind of back and forth about whether this will be compatible with the old bike. So if you had an old street glide or road glide that you wanted to upgrade your system, uh, if you could upgrade it to the Spoon GTS. I've seen some forums saying yes. The dealership yesterday told me that their parts guy said yes. But then I saw some other information. Uh, I think it was John Maxwell, maybe, that uh, said that it wasn't when he was talking to the Harley guys there. So uh, that's uh, jury's out on that one. But now I'm like pissed that I kind of didn't wait a couple months because if this was my uh, de decision making process, I would have spent the extra money on that street glide now with the tech that's out there. That's what you get, uh, you know, like I said, this Heritage, nothing wrong with it at all. I, I, I love it. It's a great bike to, to really learn on. I've put uh, 2,400 miles on it, basically, and uh, it's been a, a pleasure for the entire 2,400 miles. Um, so I don't really, I don't regret this purchase. I just wish that I waited and had, uh, I guess, the options today in front of me, uh, you know, when I was making the decision. So. Uh, that's what happens, you know, it kind of sucks, but uh, it is what it is. A couple other changes that I think are going to be, uh, I guess, kind of lost in the shuffle or maybe not marketed as much. Uh, I do know they put an IMU unit into the ABS, which is an inertia MU unit, whatever the hell MU stands for. Uh, what it is is just basically an inertia unit that goes into the ABS system, so... Uh, it can actually tell, you know, lean angle and, and stuff like that, and uh, it, it just helps the ABS system uh, make decisions uh, and with, with uh, in, in regards to braking. Uh, also has a traction control system, which should also help, uh, you know, I'm assuming in the ABS uh, module, but also in the uh, stop and go uh, type of situation. So uh, I think they upgraded the linked braking altogether which is pretty cool. Still the same Brembo brake. Again, I just wanted to share with you that my take on this new Boom uh, GTS, which I did get my hands on, and I can say, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, a, a revolutionary, not evolutionary step in terms of Harley and their uh, interest in play in tech. Integrating Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is really awesome, too. I mean, a big thing about when you're out riding is, uh, you know, you're pretty much unreachable, but now to be able to just have Siri, you know, read you your text messages or to be able to communicate them verbally um, back and forth. So now with this Boom Audio integration, you know, you're going to be able to, uh, you know, communicate, uh, be able to verbally ask Siri to give you directions um, and, and get it on Apple Maps right on your display. Uh, I just think that it just makes the street glide calling it a touring bike that much more of a touring bike i mean you're really integrated with tech so well done harley bravo you know hats off with that uh new system and uh the changes i think uh, i also think differentiating the street glide regulars or uh you know the touring regular models with the 107 and then putting the 114 on the specials is a kind of a cool thing too because now you're not just paying to get a blacked out bike now you're paying for a little more power and the blacked out bike and the boom audio gts you're also getting your abs and your uh, security system standard which are things you have to pay extra for uh you know on the base touring uh, platform so getting that going into the special i think is kind of just makes it more special if you enjoy watching my videos again please click that subscribe button down below and remember likes go a long way to help support the channel and we will see you next time